edition of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Dragon rights isn't going anywhere anytime soon. The U of I and University of Missouri agree today to extend the Border Wars series in basketball through 2029. It's a six-year add-on to the current term that will keep the annual game the week before Christmas in St. Louis. And the Illini have revenge on their mind tonight after getting run out of the gym by the Tigers last season. And they are running early and often on the back of Terrence Shannon Jr. Talked about how much he wanted this one, and he goes right to the rack, shoving it early on. Count the basket and one and then the Illini looking to extend the lead. Justin Harmon bounces one behind to Coleman Hawkins wide open three 13 points in the first half for him alone and then the Illini in transition again. Shannon quick pass to Quincy Garrier in the corner bucket with the hand in his face. It is a double digit lead and then on the other side of the court Shannon pulling up this time. Bang. He loves this one. The lefty looks pretty on that one. 17 in the opening 20 minutes for Shannon. This one has blowout written all over it. Then Garrier again. How about that? And one. The three. Illinois just absolutely storming Missouri in this one. Off the miss here. Garrier back up. There's Ty Rogers. He is able to finish this one. 25 point game at half and the Illini continue to just pour it on in the second. There is more from Gary A. He goes for 28 points in this one. Shannon ice cold and Illinois goes on to win it in emphatic fashion. How about this for a blowout victory for the Illini 97 to 73 as the Illini improved to nine and two on the season. Terrence Shannon Jr. with a game high 30 points 11 rebounds. Quincy Garrier with 28. Let's head right back out to St. Louis. WCI 3's Andy Olson standing by live. You just saw the trophy ceremony, Andy. What a completely different feeling for a line of nation. <laughs> Yeah, it is a complete 180, Brett. You are correct. Things were deflated for the Illini team this time last year as they saw Missouri take the trophy back to Columbia. But this time in the trophy ceremony, that literally just got wrapped up behind me. There was a lot of excitement, fans watching on Fox Sports. What I'm sure saw the interview with Terrence Shannon Jr. got crashed by his teammates and the trophy as well. The Illinois will take back to Champaign for the first time since 2021, just the second time in the last six tries now for the Illini as Brad Underwood improves to three and four against Missouri in this Bragg and Rights game. It all comes down to what Terrence Shannon Jr. was saying before this game, Brett, that he remembers how they felt last year when they had a completely deflating performance. He comes out with 30 points in this one, which has become typical for Shannon, but like you mentioned, Gary A as well in those highlights. What a performance from the transfer uh, in probably his best game in orange and blue. That's the Illini orange and blue so far, Brett. And uh, if Illinois can keep this momentum going into Big Ten play, they're playing like a top 15 team in the country, which is where they are right now, Brett. And certainly this can propel them for quite a bit. Before, but I really felt like he set the pace, set the tone early. They were aggressive defensively and really getting out in transition. I think, like you mentioned, Andy, I think Alana Nation feels really good after this, heading into 2024 about what this team could be. Yeah, and I, there is reason to be excited for that. You saw multiple times tonight that when Shannon gets into the lane and is driving, there's just not much the other team can do. Illinois fans probably been a little spoiled recently with what is most likely their third All-American in four seasons because that's the level that Taryn Shannon Jr. is playing at. And when you have role players like Quincy Garrier, Marcus Damask, Coleman Hawkins has had a really good bounce back from a bad early part of the season. The sky is this ceiling for the Illini right now and they I imagine certainly feeling that way in the locker room they're feeling that way out here on the court as they got that trophy Brett and uh, we'll see how far this takes them because this is looking like a good squad at the moment. Thank you so much. Nine and two. Now, Illinois, one more non-con game next Friday night against Fairleigh Dickinson. And then it's on to 2024. Good vibes tonight heading into Christmas. And from losing by more than 20 yes. to winning by more than 20. No Love doubt. to see it. All right. Thanks, Fred.